Most people will agree that getting sunshine is good for you, and according to National Institutes of Health, human beings need around 15 micrograms of vitamin D a day, which you can get from 10 to 30 minutes of sun exposure. Sunlight exposure is also great for boosting your, okay, there's a helicopter coming by. Bird too, you see him? Sunlight exposure is also great for improving your mental health, boosting your immune system, and treating some skin conditions like acne and eczema. However, there is a dark side to sunlight exposure. See what I did there? While getting sunlight is a great way to increase your vitamin D levels, too much exposure can lead to skin cancer, premature aging of the skin, sagging, and irreversible damage. One tool people use to prevent these harsh impacts is sunscreen. But unfortunately, many myths have surfaced around sunblock's usage and effects on the skin. There are five myths that stick out to us as dangerous and misleading. So I'm gonna go through and debunk each of them right now. So buckle up, baby. <laughs> Myth number one, you don't need sunscreen on cloudy days. It's understandable why you might think this. For many people, if the sun is out of sight, it can't hurt you. However, this idea is incorrect. The reality is up to 80% of UV rays can penetrate clouds, so you can still get sunburned on cloudy days. So it's actually best to wear sunscreen every day, regardless of the weather. Myth number two, people with dark skin don't need sunscreen. Although people with darker skin have more melanin, which does provide some protection, they are still susceptible to UV damage, skin cancer, and hyperpigmentation. Sunscreen is equally as important for all skin types and tones. Myth number three, you only need to apply sunscreen once a day. Sunscreen wears off, especially if you're swimming, sweating, or drying your skin with a towel. It's recommended to reapply sunscreen every two hours or even more frequently if you're doing an activity that would remove the sunscreen from your body. You gotta be vigilant with it. Myth number four, getting regular sun exposure and tanning is good for you. While some sun exposure is necessary for vitamin D production, excessive sun exposure and tanning both increase the risk of skin cancer and premature aging. You don't need to hide from the sun, but it's important to balance sun exposure with protection. Myth number five, People didn't use to get skin cancer, but now that sunscreen exists, they're getting cancer from that. Some might assume that because there have been more reported cases of skin cancer over time, the common denominator would be the increased use of sunscreen. The truth is, skin cancer rates have increased due to better detection methods and increased sun exposure. We want to be clear here, there is no evidence that sunscreen causes skin cancer. Instead, it protects against UV radiation, which can lead to skin cancer. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and allowing us to dispel a handful of misconceptions surrounding sunscreen. We hope that you found this information valuable. Now get out there, enjoy your summer. Just make sure you're protecting your skin in the process. To stay up to date in the world of health and wellness, be sure to hit subscribe in the bottom corner of your screen. All right, I need to get inside.